All right, Shalom. Uh, first off, I want to say all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Akha Kudash, double honors to our apostles and elders of GMS, uh, to the elect who work in sincerity and in truth. Shalom. Uh, this is Nazar Khud, GMS Precepts here. And I got an article here from, this is from MSM.com, but the article is from the New York Times. And it reads, um, the document shed light on secret U.S. plans for apocalyptic scenarios. Okay, uh, and I'll read a little a little bit of this. Um, but but this is what uh, they're they're preparing for apocalyptic scenarios. So let, let's read a little bit of this. It says uh, newly disclosed documents have shed shed a crack of light on secretive. I'm sorry, secret e executive branch plans for apocalyptic scenarios like the aftermath of a nuclear attack when the president may activate wartime powers for national security measures. Now, these wartime powers that they're talking about were updated. Um, the update was made public. Uh, it, it, it goes into it. The update, the update was made public after September 11th. Um, I, I'll just continue reading. It says, when the president may activate wartime powers for national security emergencies. So those, there could be an EMP. Um, it could be a nuclear war. It could be a, a third world's war. It could be a so-called uh, a, 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 a claimed or alleged attack here in America. All right. Um, it says for national security emergency. So when a national security emergency happens, um, a lot of power is given to the president to do what, what he wants to do. Right. It says, until now, public knowledge of what the government put into these classified directives, which invoke emergency and wartime powers granted by Congress or otherwise claimed by presidents, has been limited to declassified description of those developed in a cold. Uh, I'm sorry, of those developed in the early Cold War. In that era, they included steps f like imposing martial law, rounding up people deemed dangerous, and censoring news from abroad. Right. So these are the. Um, uh, certain acts that the president was, you know, they, they made, they put into law during war, t uh, um, during a, a national emergency powers given to the president. Right. Um, and it says what martial they can, they can impose martial law rounding people up. They deem dangerous. Okay. Okay. Pro what's that project? What is that? Is it Megiddo? Project Megiddo and censoring news from abroad. Okay. Um it has now been clear I'm sorry, it is it has not been clear what is the modern directives known as pres known as presidential emergency actions action documents because under administrations of both parties none have uh, been made public or shown to Congress but the newly disclosed documents which relate to the George Bush administration's effort to revise the draft orders after attacks on September 11th are for clues. i read one more paragraph. It says, several of the, f of the files provided to the New York Times by the Brennan Center for Justice show the Bush era effort partly focused on a law that permits the president to take over or shut down communication networks in wartime. Right, so they can take over, uh, you know, news or shut down certain news, okay, in wartime. That suggests the government may develop or or revise such an order in light of the explosive growth in the 1990s of consumer in internet. And we know what well, that's the 90s was 30 years ago. We know it's even it's even worse now. Majority of uh, people consume their news. Off of, off of, off of the internet, off of certain s social media sites, uh, underscoring how little lawmakers and the public can infer. Another file from 08 mentioned the Justice Department lawyers were revising an unidentified draft order in light of a recent Supreme Court opinion. Um, all right, so I'll, I'll stop it there. But but basically, they're prepping for apocalyptic scenarios, right? Whether it be uh, world war, whether it be like I said, an attack here in America um, and these are the things that they're preparing for and they and, and one of them include in a situation they can impose martial law 
They can round up people they deem dangerous, okay? And they can censor news from abroad. Also, they can um, abroad and uh, domestic as well, okay? According to the updated version from uh, after Bush. But anyway, the apocalyptic scenario that they are planning for, or one of them, is uh, the, uh, they, is the Star Wars program, which is, um, as we know, uh, to, to fight against a, a foreign power, not of this world, right? Um, but, but, but guess what? They can't stop. Uh, now, according to prophecy, that's something that they can't stop, right? Um, you know, there's, there's plenty of scriptures of the Lord returning and him, you know, taking over, oh, let me ex exit this out here, him, him taking over, um, be, be, because that's, that's what's going to happen, right? Uh, oh, the, the, the Lord is going to return and he's going to take over his kingdom, which was given to him by the father, by Yahweh, right? Um, that's why the, you know, the Lord, Yahweh Shai. He's got many titles. One of them, or a few of them, is King of Kings, Lord of Lords, right? So he's coming to claim his throne. You read, you read Re Re Revelation. What I think is the fifth or the sixth chapter says, "Who, are the, who is worthy uh, to to open a book and and, uh, and reveal the seals thereof?" It's only one person. It's a conquering line of Judah. Okay, so when the Lord returns, he's gonna claim his throne again. And I always reference certain movies like. Um, what's that DC movie? Uh, Justice League of what was it? his name Dark Side. Also, uh, another movie, Thanos, from uh, you know the uh, Avengers movies. That's gonna be the scene, right? It's gonna be a a, a total takeover. Uh, except, unlike those movies, you know Yahweh Shai is gonna prevail, right? Uh, first scripture I have is in Zechariah 14 and 12. It says, uh, and this shall be the plague where, where, wherewith the Lord will smite all the people that have fought against Jerusalem, which Jerusalem is a people before it's a place. That's in reference to the uh, children of Israel, which consists of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Uh, it says, their flesh shall consume away while they stand upon their feet, and their eyes shall consume away while they stand upon, uh, I'm sorry, consume away in their holes, and their tongue shall consume away in their mouth. Uh, and that's speaking about the weapon that the Lord is going to use to take down this this country to take down Esau and his kingdom which if you go to Isaiah it speaks about the smiths which were um um which were uh created by the Lord uh or inspired that's what I was looking for inspired by the Lord to create those nuclear missiles that you see that that all these nations are trying to race to create Okay, because the spirit, the Lord has a spirit of these rulers to eventually come to a point where they're going to use them. Okay, all right. So Isaiah 34. I mean, I'll, I'll start at verse two. It says, "For the indignation of the Lord is upon all nations, and His fury is upon all their armies. He hath utterly destroyed them. He hath delivered them to the slaughter." Right? Because the Lord's plan is to what? Gather all these nations in one place. Okay, um, to for 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 judgment. All right. Matter of fact, let me get that right now. Joel, the third chapter, three and two. Um, I will also gather all nations and bring them down into the valley of Jehoshaphat, which in Hebrew is translated to Yahweh Shapat, which means the Lord's judgment, and will plead with them there from for for my people. And for my heritage Israel, in whom they have scattered among among the nations and parted my land, right? So this is payback, okay? Uh, Esau, they haven't been judged for the for the their atrocities that they've committed specifically towards the nation of Israel, and it's time to pay the piper, man. It's time to pay the piper. Uh, your judgment, Esau's judgment, is long overdue. Okay, but we're living in a time of judgment. All right, uh, and, and that's throughout all the scriptures, man. The time of judgment, the the the, the time of judgment is is at hand, and 
you know, we're living in a time where Esau is finally going to get judged for the wickedness they, they've been doing since uh, they came back into power. Okay? Isaiah 66 and 15. This is a well-known scripture of the Lord's return. And all these highlight the Lord's return and how it's going to be a total takeover and um, uh, um, rooting, right? Uh, and uh, uprooting of the wicked. Okay? Isaiah, where, where am I? No, Isaiah 66 and 15, it says, For behold, the Lord will come with fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind to rend render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire. So it's showing you that the, when the Lord returns, he, he's going to be very upset. And you could plan all you want to for any apocalyptic scenario that you want to, Esau, but there's no, there's no plan that you can create that can stop these prophecies, okay? When the Lord when the Lord turns, He's gonna come. It says with fire and and with His chariots like a whirlwind. Why do you think that the Lord is displaying His power uh, through these uh, chariot sightings? All right, through the years now, as we get closer and closer to Esau's demise, uh, his kingdom falling, we see the Lord is showing us, or showing even showing His enemy, um, uh, the the power that that He's gonna come with. There are a lot more chariot sightings than than ever before, okay? And that's for a reason, right? Uh, does not, when a nation wants to st stick out its chest, they, they have war games to show other nations their their weaponry, their tanks, their new missiles, their new f f uh, jets and all this, okay? The Lord is doing the same thing. The Lord is, 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 uh, is doing... Is, is doing his version of war games, which he's, he's showing Esau, he's showing the world his weaponry, his angels. Okay? It says, For behold, <clears throat> the Lord will come with fire, and with, with his chariots like a whirlwind, to render his anger with fury, and his rebuke with flames of fire. For by fire and, and by his sword will the Lord plead with all flesh, and the slain of the Lord shall be many. So there's going to be a lot of people that are going to fall by the hands of the Lord. Okay? Um, you know, all, and it was all signed off by the Father. Right? So, all right, that's pretty much it. I'll leave this article in the description. Lord willing, you brothers and sisters, we're edified until the next show. Shalom.